So in today's video, we're going to be changing the oil. Really looking forward to doing this. I've never done it before. Um, so maybe slightly apprehensive, but should be something that we can do relatively easy. It's something that we should all be able to do at home on the driveway. It's a great day. Hopefully it'll be warming up a little bit in a while because it's quite chilly and windy at the minute. But for now, we'll get some bits out and get going. So we've got the front of the car up in the air. Just put it on a couple of axle stands. Obviously we've got some chocks on the back wheels as well uh, and the jack under there for extra support. So I've taken just the one wheel off, just on the passenger side. Uh, I'm gonna leave the driver's side on for now. So next up is to take this kind of uh, plastic protector off. Uh, so I think it's a uh, number 10. So I'm just gonna go around, remove all of these and expose this up. Now with that plastic cover removed, we can see the sump. We've got a sump nut here, which we're gonna remove. I've also put some cardboard down on the floor just to stop any drips going on the drive. I've tucked it underneath the, the wheel that I took off there just to stop it blowing around. I've got my drain pan ready as well, uh, just to catch the oil. But what I'm also gonna do is pop the drain pan inside a big fruit box, um, just to one side like this. So hopefully when the oil comes out, if it does split over the side, we should be able to catch it. Uh, and it'll be much easier for tidying it up. So to help the oil drain, I'm gonna remove the oil cap just to stop there being too much of a vacuum inside the engine. It should help it just fall out a lot easier. Okay, so we've got a 30 mil nut that we're gonna remove, we've got a socket. We've got our drain pan underneath, inside the extra box, like I say. Um, so let's get this off. Okay, I think we'll leave that to drain now. Just as a little note, that's why it's worth putting down some extra cardboard. Um, obviously when it started coming out, it had that little blowout. Uh, so that's saved my driveway mostly, apart from a few little spots, but yeah, that was useful. Okay, so while that's still draining, uh, next job is to take off the driver's side wheel um, because we need to get to where the oil filter is. So the oil filter is there, which if I come back a bit, you can see is inside, right inside the, uh, the wheel arch here. If we can get some focus, there we go. Um, so what we need to do is remove this panel, this section here, uh, and that will allow us to get into that, to remove the oil filter cover, get it out and uh, change it. So we've got a couple of T30 Torx bits, one there, uh, one down here, and then a Phillips screw holding that last bit in there. So we'll get these off um, and then, uh, yeah, get this panel out. Okay, so I've removed uh, those one, two, three retainers. Um, I tried removing this, but I couldn't get it out. It feels like there's another something retaining it up there, another screw maybe, perhaps, um, but I can't get to it. So I'm just gonna take out um, this screw here, maybe another one up here, just so that I can see if there is anything there. Um, and yeah, at the minute, I can't get this out, so that needs to come out to access the oil filter in there. Hopefully you can just about see that, uh, that nut and bolt in the middle there. That, as I suspected, is the last bit that's holding on that inner, um, that inner wheel arch liner that we need to remove. So somehow I need to get uh, a socket on that just to remove that. To give you some context, to context rather of where that is, I just come out. Uh, it's right underneath where the math filter is. So a um, little bit awkward to get to, but let's give it a go. Okay, so I managed to get a socket in there just about. It's a number ten. So I'm just going to pull it off that stud that's sticking out. Release that from there. And hey, presto! There we go. Right. So now we should be able to get that liner off. 
And now with that off of that stud, fingers crossed, that looks better. Just work it down and away it comes hopefully. Well, there we go, that's removed. It was a bit more challenging to get out than, uh, than I'd hoped. But this is the one that was hidden up behind the back there. Uh, as I was taking it down, it was getting stuck just on this lip here. So it was a case of getting your arm up, kind of right underneath the liner here, needing to pull that forward a bit so that you can just manipulate it. But uh, yeah, now it's out. We can see, hopefully, there we go. That's where we need to get to. So that's going to come off uh, and that's going to be the messy bit. Okay, so as I know this is the messy bit, as I know that the uh, oil is going to come out of this oil filter and try and kill my driveway, what I've actually done, as you can see hopefully, is just try and line the area with a plastic bag, one, so it doesn't go all over uh, all the components and everything within there as well, but two, hopefully it might, if I'm lucky, kind of drain down and straight into the oil pan at the bottom. Uh, wishful thinking, going to remain optimistic. But uh, for now, that's what we need to do. We've got our 32 mil spanner ready. So let's give it a go. I'll see if I can get the camera set up so that we can uh, catch this on film as well. Okay, you can just see it sipping out the bottom now, just starting to come out slightly. So, let's see if I can keep my hand out of the way. And hopefully, you can see as well, the plastic bag trick worked a treat. It's just run straight down there and straight into the drain pan. Okay, so now to try and get the actual filter out. Um, we've got the housing cover off. This is where we need to actually get the, the filter off. Just give it a little pinch, and away it comes. Great stuff, we'll pop that straight with the oil. Okay, so with the camera back off a little bit now, we can see uh, the plastic bag trick and where it kind of all drained nicely into that. Um, the oil filter cap, we can see, gives us a handy instruction about 30 newton meters um, tightness, or to, to the torque, so we'll try and talk that up. We've got our spare, our new replacement sump nut with a washer in there, and our new oil filter as well. Um, we've got as well, obviously, the replacement ring, which will come on here. We'll take this old one off, put the new one on there, put that back in, and uh, yeah, get it all back together. Okay, so we've got the new filter just sat in the housing now. Uh, we've got the, the lid. The lid was a little bit awkward to get in actually. We had to come up from the bottom like this and then we're gonna have to kind of rotate it up like that. We've got the new O-ring on there as well. Um, so we'll just get this screwed in gently and then we'll try and get the torque wrench in there if we can, just up to about 30 newton meters. Okay, so now we've got the filter housing back on. Um, put the sump nut back in as well just talk that up um, so now we can look at uh, trying to get this panel back in back in place it's going to be a challenge I'm sure but uh, we'll do it the reverse of the way we took it out uh, kind of slide it up in this way and then get those uh, fixings back in so because of how difficult and tricky this seems to be to get this panel in I thought I'd see if I could get a video just up under here to show you where uh, that lug nut kind of sits in how it comes onto it um so you can just kind of see it i think a bit difficult to see on the camera with my hand up it uh just coming onto that point up up there um whether it's right or not this kind of comes in front of this hose here um but yeah it's a bit difficult probably be easier i reckon to take this inner lining out but um yeah, I've done it okay without it. So I'll just get these fixings back in uh, and then, uh, yeah, get the rest of it put back together. So now everything's back together, the filter's on, uh, the sump nuts back on and tightened up. Time to get some oil in the car. 
So the car takes 4.2 litres, uh, apparently, according to the service book. I've got five litres ready to go. So I'm just going to get a funnel, um, pop it in the top, obviously remove the, the cap first. Um, yeah, you fill it up, so we've done about four litres or so, maybe just a little bit less. Then we'll have a check on the dipstick, see how we're going, and then just slowly top it up from there. I'm sure there's going to be a little bit remaining still from, uh, from the drain. So for a bit of extra visibility, I've just taken the engine cover off. Don't need to, but I've just taken it off. Just so that I can make sure that it doesn't come up here and run over the edge. So now we've got a fair bit in there. I'm just going to check for leaks around the bottom, uh, around the filter. Just make sure everything's okay. Okay, so now it's had a minute to settle, or a few minutes to settle. Just checking the levels again on the dipstick. Uh, we're showing right just at the very top, which is really good. Uh, I don't know if, I can, if you can see that or not, but that's showing just right at the very top. So it's likely to go down a little bit when it settles a bit more, and obviously once we start the engine, it's got to fill up the uh, oil filter as well. So we'll leave it there for now. Um, put the sump cover back on, and uh, yeah, get the car down so we can start out. Okay, so we just started the engine. The oil light stayed on for a little while initially, just as you'd expect while it's circulating the oil around the engine, filling up the oil filter as well. So now we've done that, we'll just check the oil levels on the dipstick, make sure that they're good. Uh, if it needs topping up, obviously we'll top it up a little bit more. Then we'll check our levels again. Uh, later on, we'll start it, give it a little run and come back and then check our levels again later on. And look at how much is left in the bottle. You can just about see the line there. It's a five litre bottle, so that's about 4.2 we've used, which is what the car says we need to use in the, in the user's handbook. So really happy with that. So for now, that's it. Hopefully you've liked the video. If you have, give us a thumbs up down below somewhere. Um, if you really liked it, please subscribe, hopefully somewhere up here in a minute. It really means a lot for me when you guys subscribe. It lets me know that you're uh, enjoying the videos. Uh, I want to come back for more. It gives me the motivation to keep going. Um, I like to try and do these things so that other people can learn by my mistakes. So if you can, hit subscribe now and come back and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks very much.